Welcome to Magic Arcanum, I'm Ryan Gomez, and I'm so glad you're here because it is story time. Last week, we asked you to submit your saga, your own personal magic story, and I was floored by how many of you took the time to write a message in the comments. I read every one of them, and I just wanna say thank you for doing that. So as I read through your stories, I noticed a lot of recurring themes. A lot of people talked about their origin story and how they got into playing magic, which was really great. So that's something to keep in mind the next time you sit down across from an opponent. What brought them to that seat? What motivates them? What drives them to be a better player? The answer might surprise you. Maybe you've been working all day at your own local game store and in walks Zachary. Says he's new in town and just looking for a game of Commander. Might seem like an ordinary night, but he's in the middle of moving across the country and is looking for something fun and familiar while going through this dramatic, life-changing event. Maybe you sit down across from Doug. And you know they're there every Friday night trying to do well at FNM, and you know that they've got big aspirations to make it onto the Pro Tour, but they never told you they're dealing with overwhelming depression, and just making it out of the house every week is already a huge accomplishment for them. Maybe you see Dylan with a backpack full of decks, and you figure, just like me, that person loves the game and just wants to collect all the cards. You'd never think that each one of those decks is a personal connection to a lost family member. There are so many reasons someone might cross your path at a game store or tournament or kitchen table. Reading all these stories helped me realize not everyone has the same origins or the same motivations for playing. And that's why it's so important to be nice and kind and welcoming to your opponent. I've been playing for 20 years and I'm a little embarrassed to say in that time, I spent so much effort focusing on myself, I didn't put a lot of thought into what brought my opponent into the game. So here's what I want you to do. The next time you sit down to play a game of Magic, try asking your opponent, why they play. The answer might surprise you. And that's our theme for this week, surprises. The Magic storyline is full of surprises, almost as many as we got last week when we shared our own sagas. And a game of Magic is full of surprises too. It makes it more fun and memorable. Let's talk about the story first. There are surprises waiting for us on Ravnica, to be sure. We know that Varaska and Ral Zarek are working for Nicol Bolas, but we don't know what their ultimate goal is yet. And if you don't know who Nicol Bolas is yet, that's okay. You're in luck because I covered him before, and you can still go watch those videos. Other recent surprises include Emrakul showing up on Innistrad, Jaya being Chandra's mentor at Carol Keep, and Azor living on Ixalan after creating the Immortal Sun. So surprises make the lore of magic more interesting, but how do they affect a game as it's being played out? I wanna hear your stories in the comments down below, and to get things rolling, I'm gonna share mine with you first. I was at the Guilds of Ravnica pre-release a couple weeks ago, along with a bunch of other TCG player employees, including Amy, who's our front-end developer, a good friend of mine. We got paired up against each other in the first round. My green and black Golgari deck took a little while to get going. Turn four, I played a Moodmark Painter, gave another creature a little boost thanks to the undergrowth ability, and got in an attack. Amy took the damage, started her turn, tapped two lands, and then played Assassin's Trophy on my painter. I was very surprised. <sighs> Assassin's Trophy is a great card, maybe the best in all of Guilds of Ravnica. It's an instant, it costs two mana, it can destroy anything, and Amy just used it to kill my 2-3. Now, I love my friends dearly, and I have tremendous respect for Amy, but I'm also perfectly fine letting my opponents make a play that I think, I think is gonna help me more than it helps them. So at the moment, I was happy Amy had just used her best piece of removal on my weak little creature. A turn or two later, though, she hit me with another surprise. She dropped Varaska, Golgari Queen. Not only had she opened Assassin's Trophy, she had opened a Planeswalker in the same colors in her pre-release pack and had just used both of them to completely take over control of the board. And that is why you should never, never underestimate your opponent, even if you've been playing them for years. Their poker face could still be something you've never seen before and catch you completely by surprise. I will always remember this pre-release as the time I got blindsided by two awesome cards from one of my good friends here at TCG Player. Now it's your turn. What's the most surprising thing that's ever happened to you in a game of Magic? 
let me know in the comments down below. And then of course, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the fun stories that you'll only find here on Magic Arcanum. I'll see ya.